8 arpeggios 1. So from today on, from this number on, we have the next 9 EJs about arpeggios. Arpeggios after arpeggios. So in this new edition, we put the titles of the each, each exercise so that it's easier for us to recognize each one of the EJ. So the number eight is arpeggios one, and then we move on to arpeggios two, arpeggios three, broken arpeggios one, arpeggios on seventh chord one, broken arpeggios two, arpeggios on seventh chord two and so on let's keep going actually arpeggios and diminished triads arpeggios and diminished diminished seventh chords and then we finish up this Stefan Agobert book with EJ 17 major trills um, anyway well <laughs> we'll get there at some point so don't get too scared I'll continue playing this EJ8, we are at letter A, example number three, with articulation, let's see, let's pick number two. to letter B, example number one, and let's see, articulation number eight. to the next example I wanted to make sure that you're playing um, you're thinking in chords so we will move on to the next EJs where there are arpeggios in seventh and diminished chord and so on and th but this example arpeggios we you can actually think in triads so in letter B let's move on to example number three so as written it's the triad of <laughs> So always try to listen for this triad vertically, not just playing all the melodies um, 
horizontally. So it's good. It's a good practice for not only connecting all the notes in legato as possible, but also opening up your ears for vertical listening. <laughs> Although we don't play all three at the same time, use your imagination <laughs> and listen for the intervals. Okay. <laughs> fun about choosing which articulation to play. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> so, um, moving on to the example number four of the letter B. <laughs> Do this one again um, to play it better <laughs> and for you guys as well mm, don't be afraid to repeat over and over and over again until you get the sound and all the results that you wanted to hear in yourself so here's the number four of the letter B <laughs> to the example number five of the letter B <laughs> on page 31, I wanted to ask you guys to listen for also the same quality of the sound throughout the different registers. see that as I play a little bit quicker I didn't need to take a breath at the bar four but if you guys are taking even slower tempo it could be like this I'll, I'll pick another articulation oh my god slower <laughs> something like that I would practice this EJ8 one or two letters per day you don't have to tackle all A B C D E F G in one day if you want to you can but in my opinion it's more helpful for us to make progress and make it more interesting if we go a little bit of each or several EJ per day. So that was it for today. Uh, you're on your own for the page 32, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> if you have any questions, play, um, please write down in the comments and I will read every one of the comments and either I would answer it in the next videos or I would make separate videos for Q&A. Okay, happy practicing!